Greetings and welcome to another Databits video. Today's video presented to you in Technicolor because we're going to review and unbox this Technicolor Video Recorder 212. This is the CVC format introduced by Technicolor but also marketed under other names. I think Funai also put their name on these machines as well as Munts put their name on a couple of these VCRs. This is not 8mm. Many of you are familiar with the 8mm videotape format used mainly in camcorders, but there are some VCRs out there as well. But this is not 8mm and not even compatible with 8mm. This is CVC. So here's a CVC cassette. Here's a V45. I also have a V60. Here's the V60, what it looks like. Okay, and just to compare how these tapes look next to each other, CVC is a little bit bigger, just a slight bit bigger, about the same thickness. And there's what the bottom of the two look like together. Now, before we unbox this and give you a little bit of history, although I don't have much history to tell you about this machine, I do want to say thank you to Tom Ostertag, who donated this, loaned us this beautiful box full of awesomeness so that we can look at it together. I also want to thank these guys. Their names are up on the screen. I want to say thank you to you for keeping me inspired and going to make videos. Uh, also want to say thank you to these guys, uh, my Patreon subscribers, my Patreon patrons. You guys have funded a lot of what we've seen recently on the DataBits channel, so thanks. All right, let's unbox this thing. Speaking of months, apparently months was the distributor at this time when it was sent out. You can see months electronics here on the top. This was shipped second day air via UPS to Alpha Audio Lab in St. Louis, Missouri. And I don't know the date, but check this out. Somebody paid $219.45 cash on delivery. That was quite a chunk of money. All right, let's see what's in the box. Opening the box. So this is what you would have seen had you purchased one of these in the early 80s. So here is our owner's manual. The least important thing. Men do not read owner's manuals. Just so you know that. Many of you guys already knew that. We know everything. We don't need to read manuals. Here's the additional content. We've got, uh, oh, looks like some video cables. Here we've got an RCA to coax cable. Wow, an RCA to RCA cable. You can see the styrofoam has begun to eat these wires. What do we have here? We have a switch box, Technicolor 612 switch box. Reminds me of those switch boxes you would get with your Atari or other gaming system. We have an adapter. We have an ear plug which is uh, also being taken over by the styrofoam on the inside. We have a, uh, a shoulder strap. And then here is the battery, the beastly battery used by this system. It is a uh, 12 volt, 1000 mAh, five hour battery, model 512. Technicolor battery pack from model 212. And we have a tape sticking out here. This one says months on it, the oldest living name in video. HG60. Look at there, months even put their name on the videotape. Those guys are fancy. And then there's another tape right here. This is a V30. Technicolor video cassette. All right, so that's the top layer of this, this tomb of the unknown VCR. Uh, okay, I guess this is the power supply over on this side. Yes, it sure is. That is our power supply, which I did not have for my first video that I made. Let's take out the VCR itself. 
Now with this particular machine, it would require an external camera. So you would have a camera that would connect to the unit. So there we go. Yep, this one actually has the month's brand on it as well. Got a warning and a still light right here on the front. It says Technicolor 212 VCR on like a plate with some multicolors there. The keys are very much like a tape recorder of, uh, of the 1970s era. These are what we would call, I guess, piano keys. Very much feels like piano keys on an older machine. Turning it around to the top, we have uh, the place where you put the cassette in, obviously, here, and it is a top loader. We have a counter here, not digital, but sort of digital counter. Um, we have a memory on and off switch. Let's turn it around to the side here. All right, so we have a tracking control, a still switch, a sound dub button the interface to connect the camera, the interface to connect the power, which is like a DIN type connector. We have a mic input as well as an earphone output there. And then uh, a little place here to connect that strap that we saw earlier. Here's the bottom of the unit, made in Japan. All right, has this uh, ultra modern black I don't know, almost a rubbery material on the outside to give you the best grip possible on the machine. Here is where our battery goes. And the battery connects to that connector right there. Almost looks like a connector you would connect a CD-ROM drive to back in the mid-90s. What is that, a Molex connector? That's not a Molex, but in any case, looks cool. And the little door is held on with a strap so you don't lose it. Here we are, Technicolor power adapter in a very solid metal cabinet. Got our on off switch here. I guess that's for charging only. On off charging and on off power. We have RF out, video out and audio out and then we have a breaker off on and there's even a pin out right there that could be helpful to some of you guys who get one of these machines and don't have a power supply for it let's go ahead and hook this sucker up and I'm going to connect a video capture card so that any possible video that comes out of this will be seen by you guys on your screen as well I have everything connected on the left side of your screen, you see the Technicolor video recorder with my tape already inserted. On the right side, we have the power supply connected to the VCR via this DIN cable. We have my Cloner Alliance, Cloner Alliance Box Pro sitting here in the center. This is going to capture any potential video that might come out of this system, and we'll see it here on the screen. So again, this unit probably has really bad capacitors or will probably have a meltdown as soon as we hit play. So hopefully it doesn't destroy my tape in the process. All right, let's go ahead and start recording with the Cloner Alliance. I've got it set on AV, the proper input, and I'm going to hit the record button. Begin capturing video. You can see it says recording right there. Let's go ahead and turn on the power supply and hopefully it does not catch on fire. Put in our tape. Let's go ahead and hit play. And nothing happened. Let's try again. Nothing. There were eight screws that we had to remove taking those out and the top and bottom just come off like a clamshell. Let's go ahead and eject. One of these is eject. Which one is it? There we go. Put in a tape. Power it on. Hit play. Whoop. Hit play.
sounds like either the motor is having trouble or there is a broken belt in there. Could be both, actually. Okay, so what we have here with the circuit board taken off, very easy to remove. There's just some connectors and uh, more screws to take off. But looking at the bottom of the chassis here, we see we have goopy belt syndrome. You can see something sticky going on right about there. See there? And then check out these belts down here. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Yep, all completely turned to goo. So let me see if I've got some belts here in my arsenal. Strangely enough, this belt here is actually holding up. I'll see if I have some belts in my arsenal and we'll see if we can't clean up some of that goo and uh, maybe get a little bit more life out of it. Let's give it a shot. So I've cleaned off all of the goo and I've replaced the belts with something that is hopefully going to work. And we're going to give this a try. Let's go ahead and see if what we've done thus far will get this thing rolling. So I'm going to apply some power. Hopefully nothing blows up. First, let's, let's try fast forward. That didn't do anything. Ooh, it looks like it wants to load. And are we playing? Is something playing here, folks? I do not know. Don't see a lot of stuff moving here. now looking at me through the month's recorder and the camera I'm using is of the same era. This is a RCA color video camera CC010. Which uses a tube 
a picture tube or a valve to collect the picture. And I'm actually recording it onto the Cloner Alliance. I'm capturing it digitally. And I'll show you what it looks like if we play it back on analog. And the camera I'm using is of the same era. This is a RCA color video camera, CC010, which uses a tube, a picture tube or a valve to collect the picture. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us today for this amazing video. We did get the unit working, and it just took a little bit of belt replacement. And apparently the capacitors are holding up under all this time of uh, sitting in a box. Probably kept it a nice, cool place most of its life. So I really want to thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you next time. Please follow me on Twitter and on Facebook, and be a Patreon patron, if you would. And we will see you next time. Okay, smile. What is this like? This is Lake Shasta, Bridge Bay. I'm pretty day. I'm getting burned out. Okay. Too much sun, too much smoke, coke, coke. You have a con too? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Got a dot on that. Got yeah. some lens on it. Or dirt on the lens. <laughs> Crud. That's a mic microphone. Yeah. Uh oh, it's more than the lens. No? Uh -huh. Yeah, it came out. Tube. Didn't know that. You burned a dot on the tube. Man, I didn't know that. The people sold it to me. Well, it's just for general purpose testing. It's How come it, yeah. Is it on the tube? Yeah, yeah. it would appear. You... Yeah, because it's not moving. Is it with the focus in there? No. It's an autofocus? Like it's it does. a black dot. Well, it, it has to do with the iris. Hi. Hi. What do we have, Paya? I have uh, a cartridge here that I've dented. Gee. Or the stylus. I okay. And I think it's shot, and I probably ought to buy a new one. Let's walk from the view. Yeah, that's a dot you can have. Are you sure it's not in the TV? It's in the camera. Huh? Yeah. Well, how how can something like that happen? Shooting it in the sun. Some See that the way it gets smaller and larger. Yeah, with the iris. Which is the store near you? Uh, up on um, Owl. Oh, there's one on Owl. Oh. Okay. You know, one thing we want to do is call them ahead. Make sure that. Uh, they have it in stock. All they do is you plug it in the computer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Let me give you all one back. Oh. That's so whatever you have, it doesn't. Well, yeah. I, I, I just ordered a few of them, and I found out the they're too stiff. They're too stiff. They were not being in a picture. And then meaning that. Even I'm not going to have good low frequency response. I see. No, 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 no